this experiment, you'll need one chopping board, a sharp knife, four transparent containers, a piece of rock melon, and a permanent marker. The knife will only be used by an educator to cut the rock melon into four equal sizes. The rock melon piece will then be placed into a transparent container, which will then be placed into a different environment. Each environment will be written by a sharpie on top of the container. For the first step, the educator will hold the knife and cut the rock melon into four equal sizes. To make sure that all these pieces are the same weight, we're going to use calibrated scales and put the rock melon on top. We've just put some baking paper and cancelled it, ensured that it's on zero, and then we put the rock melon straight on to give us the weight of each piece and to make sure that they're all the same. Then the teacher will allocate four students to write down the weight of each rock melon piece. Um, so the first one was 43 grams and then the student would obviously write that down. And then we go to the next piece and it's important to ensure that it's always back at zero before the rock melon piece is put back on. This one is 79 grams. Seventy eight grams, fifty one grams. To make sure that the rock melon pieces are of a similar weight range, we're going to chop down the second, third, and fourth piece pieces and weigh them. This has become 43 kilo, 43 grams. This is the first one. The third piece is now 38 grams. And the fourth piece is 41 became 41 grams. Each rock melon piece will now be placed into a transparent container. On top of the lid, you will write this weight of the rock melon and its variable. So with this rock melon, this one weighs 41 grams and will be placed in a freezer. This rock melon will be placed outdoors and weighs 43 grams. Our third rock melon piece is placed indoors and weighs 43 grams. And our fourth rock melon piece will be placed in a fridge and weighs 38 grams. So each of these containers will be placed in the environment that have been labelled on the container. <laughs> Um, over five days they'll be observed and the observations will, will be recorded manually and digitally by students 